All right, time to ruffle some pussy feathers. I know there's a certain crowd that thinks you can just buy a 6'5 Creedmoor and you can start slaying bodies out to a thousand yards. They neglect that it's the man behind the rifle and maybe his spotter that makes things happen. And the truth of the matter is, while the 6.5 Creedmoor has a few marginal advantages over the trusty 0308, the 308 and the 6.5 Creedmoor are virtually the same for practical purposes. The 6.5 Creedmoor has turned into the modern day Wonder 9 of bolt actions, but it's not without its own scars. And the truth is, the 308 is superior in a lot of ways. I'm going to outline five of them here. And if you stick around to the end, there will be a sixth bonus reason. I'm not new to 6.5 rifles. In fact, I've been shooting a 6.5 millimeter since 2003, 2004. And one thing I've learned is the first reason why a 308 is superior for your prepper types, your Minuteman types, your militia types, or your prepared citizen types. And that is barrel life. A good 308 barrel will last 5,000 rounds or more. And I'm talking 5,000 rounds of match grade accuracy, not just the barrel doesn't blow up and throw bullets in every which di direction. I've even seen 308s with 10,000 rounds plus on them that were still shooting sub MOA. In fact, in my life, I've probably wore out four or five 65 barrels in various cartridges. And the 65 Creedmoor, if you're lucky, will give you about 2,500 rounds. And there may come a day when you're not going to have a gunsmith right there ready to put a new barrel on your rifle for you. So having a 308 that goes five, 10,000 rounds or more of acceptable accuracy might be advantageous. And if you're just shooting for pleasure or you're training, getting double, if not triple or more barrel life sure saves a lot of money. Next. Cheap and consistent match ammo. If you're going to do the Lord's work, you need to have good ammunition. And we have a long, long history of common 308 match rounds that'll work in damn near any good, well-built 308 rifle to acceptable performance. We have velocity data, we have ballistic tables, all that lined out for 308 ammo that's been produced for decades. You know what you're going to get. Back before the nonsense of 2020 started, I bought some 308 ammunition from Federal, 175 grain gold medal match, just to go along with a rifle that I bought. I think I bought five, 600 rounds of it just to put away. And I paid less than one dollar a round. You're not going to do that with 6.5 Creedmoor. Number three, versatility. With a 308, you can go from 110 grains for varmint shooting all the way up to 240 grains if you really want to. So you can break that 3,000 feet per second barrier for slaying coyotes or prairie dogs on the low end, all the way up to 240 grain bullets for shooting subsonic and actually being able to have enough mass to take stuff down. You can't do that with a 6.5 Creedmoor. In fact, the 6.5 Creedmoor limits you to around 90, 95 grains up to 160 grains. And the 160 grain bullet available for 6.5 is just a terrible 160 grain round nose bullet. It just doesn't work. 
So for versatility, the nod goes to the 308. You've got coverage everything from shooting varmints all the way up to elk, moose, and even the big brown bears. I wouldn't take a 6.5 Creedmoor much over white-tailed deer, maybe mule deer, antelope hunting. Some kill elk with them, but it's marginal. It's especially marginal out to normal hunting ranges. Beyond that, you might be able to hit targets at a thousand yards, but it ain't gonna put a hurt on an elk. Commonality. The 30 caliber is the most common caliber in North America. And 308 is the most common chambering in North America. The military has used 308 for 70 years, I guess, or at least pretty close to it. Now I know, I know there are 6.5 Creedmoors available to certain units, but I have never seen bulk produced or surplus 6.5 Creedmoor for sale on the secondary market. Almost every ammunition company catalogs more 308 rounds than they do 6.5 Creedmoor. So you're going to have a lot more options going with the 308. And if you're the hand loader, there are more 30 caliber bullets available than any other caliber. Additionally, brass choices. You've got everything from the surplus brass to the Lapua stuff. And it's great brass and guess what? You even have your choice between small and large rifle primer with your Lapua 308. Yeah, you have that choice with the 6.5 Creedmoor 2 in Lapua, but that's really about it. And guess what? The 308 brass, it's cheaper. All right, the fifth reason the 308 is better than the 6.5 Creedmoor is practical performance. Most 6.5 Creedmoors overestimate velocity. And most people, when they actually try that ammo in their own guns, it doesn't quite live up to the speed that they hyped it to. But let's compare apples to apples. The Federal Gold Medal Match 140 grain OTM 6.5 Creedmoor ammo. At 600 yards and a 10 mile an hour crosswind, it gets 22.6 inches of wind drift. And in MRADs, that's 1.07. Bullets only perform to about 1,800 feet per second. And the 6.5 Creedmoor carries 1,800 feet per second to 650 yards with that load. 308 Federal Gold Medal Match 185 grain. At the same 600 yards, it gets 25 inches of wind drift, or 1.2 MRAD. And it carries 1,800 feet per second to between 590 and 600 yards. That means the 6.5 Creedmoor, for all the hype, half the barrel life, less energy. It gives you approximately 50 yards. 50 yards. Beyond that, both cartridges are basically useless in the real world. All right, you've stuck around till the end. You get the bonus reason why the 308 is better than the 6.5 Creedmoor. So if you're a man bun having latte drinking, non-binary 6.5 Creedmoor shooter, recognize the 308 can perform a whole lot better, especially if you have a short barrel. And trust me, you can ask your wife. You've probably got a short barrel. All the boxes of 6.5 Creedmoor tell you velocity based off of test barrels. 
and they're custom, well-produced barrels, typically 26 inches. And then everybody goes to the store and they buy a 20 or a 22 inch barrel. They're not getting the performance that says on the side of the box. A couple years ago, I bought two rifles, both Tika T3 Tacticals. I bought a 6.5 Creedmoor and a 308, both of the 20 inch barrel. Shooting factory ammo. 140 grain bullet from Hornady clocked 2,507 feet per second average out of the 6.5 Creedmoor 20 inch barrel. Meanwhile, shooting 175 grain federal load out of the 308, it got 2,590 feet per second. Only 10 feet per second slower than what was on the box. The 308 doesn't lose as much performance when the barrel is shorter. That's a major advantage. Less weight to carry. It's easier to carry and possibly even conceal. And when you throw a suppressor on the end of it, it doesn't turn into a Kentucky long rifle. At that barrel length, the 308 actually had better trajectory and wind resistant than the 6.5 Creedmoor. Identical rifles bought at the same time. I think having a compact rifle is especially important for the times that are to come. So get yourself a 308 and put down your rainbow flag. Bye for now.